okay guys so welcome back to another video so today what i want to uh, share with you is my experience uh, with playing basically 18 holes a day um, for now two months uh, by playing 18 holes obviously i don't mean going in a course but i mean using the mebo plus uh, ever since i got it now i've been doing a lot of different things initially but for the past Two months I've been literally just playing the course uh, I come down here uh, with my backyard net set up the Mevo on the laptop and I've been strictly just playing at least 18 holes now sometimes I can play a little more so I can get uh, 36 holes in a day uh, it takes me about an hour and a half to play 18 holes uh, so I just want to go over a few things uh, how I'm doing it and I think the main thing is uh, that this thanks to the Mibo Plus, uh, I would say I've uh, been able to lower my handicap now to 8.1 now. So um, the reason why I say that uh, is because obviously um, I've been practicing a lot, but I think the Mibo Plus has given me the chance to um, see like a real uh, core situation where, uh, for example, I can't miss it to the right. I have to play left. So I kind of have uh, I have learned a lot from it and this has uh, helped me when I go into the course have the same feeling where you know there's a situation oh I can't miss left or right so it's the same situation that I see on the simulator so the way I've been doing it I've been playing my tee shot on my second shot or third shot depending on the par par four or par three obviously just one shot and then I've been uh, just focusing on that and trying to understand you know if I'm missing it to the right the le left if I'm uh, slicing, uh, how far am I hitting it exactly with my irons and also paying attention to the slope. Like this right here is 346 yards, but it's basically flat. So I'm going to hit my driver and trying to understand, you know, my misses and how far am I hitting it. So. That one, for instance, I hit it to the right, hit the car path. So I know that uh, in some holes, I'm not gonna be able to miss to the right because it could be out of bounds. So uh, in this instance, I will like retake the shot. So I just, uh, I pay attention to my numbers, obviously. Swing speed is pretty good, 94, but I will retake another shot. And I will try the, the, what, what I want to do here. I want to stay a little bit to the left. So, so that, that's what I've been doing. So try to to draw a little bit the ball. So, so get that feeling. Rotating a little more, and then try to understand. So this was a little better. Still a little bit to the right, but not not as bad as before. So. Now, if I'm happy with that shot, which this one is pretty good, I'm pretty happy with it. I can continue, obviously, if I'm not happy with it until I get it right. So, and what I do next, I just grab a look at it. It's 141 uh, flat, so eight iron, so that's fine. I'll, I'll use my eight iron. And again, I'm looking to see uh, what, where, where am I missing? How am I hitting this eight iron? How far am I hitting it? So, again, I address take my position and just hit it okay this one I hit really well and it went slightly to the right but I'm pretty happy with that shot so I just pay attention to my swing speed and my actual distance I know that it was flat so it's going to be exactly 79 almost 80 miles an hour 41 carry so I try to understand that and also pay attention to the slope because sometimes here if it's downhill or uphill you know it's going to change the number so so what has helped me the most I would say in my drives because that's part of the game where I really uh, at the range I didn't really improve my drives because uh, there was no target so by playing 18 holes today I've been uh, learning how to uh, where to miss to the right or left and that I can definitely say that uh, I've been hitting the fairways a lot in my past two, uh, two, three rounds. So I've been shooting in the 70s for the past, my past two rounds. And before that, I shot like an 81. So 
and I feel really comfortable at the course now and I have to say it's thanks to the to the simulator um, simply because like I mentioned before it, it gives me the real uh, course situation where I cannot miss to a certain side and when I go play it's the same thing I mean you know I'm faced with a situation where well there's a bunker so I want to stay more on the left and it's the same thing in the simulator so um, maybe you know you can argue and say that you know you can do that with the with the range but uh, I have before I had the simulator I play a lot of the range and I never uh, improved this much you know I feel really really comfortable even though I play with the mat from home I think it's just a matter of um, it's more mentally I think because um, having that mentality where you cannot absolutely miss to one side and then uh, going in the course and uh, being the same at the course I think is a huge advantage I think for me because uh, I feel like okay I've been there I know how it is I can't miss to the right absolutely because uh, this is how I do it at, at, at home so and then you know I, I know how to address myself how to do it where I hit it to the other side and you know that that saves me a lot of strokes obviously in addition to playing 18 holes a day at least I also I have also been doing my swing uh, speed drills and I think that has helped me a lot especially with my drivers uh, get that extra distance and that has helped on my second shot you know on long par fours you know, I still hit a, a six iron, at the most a five iron, rather than hit a, a hybrid or a three wood, which I think that kind of punished my, my game. So what am I saying overall? Uh, I think uh, sharing this experience uh, to me, it says that uh, it's better to get out there and play because uh, if I focus too much on my, on my technique, you know what am i doing drills drills are good don't get me wrong but i think overall you have to get out there and play because that's the only place that's the only way you can actually get a better score i think you know the drills or having a very nice swing and everything that's not going to lower your your scores you know i mean i think um from my in my opinion uh practicing a lot uh, uh, either in a simulator or going to the course getting that experience that will uh, lower your scores because you will be out there you you understand exactly what's going on you know you're not focusing on on how well you're hitting your you know whether you're moving this way you just for you know exactly what is your distance where you're missing it and then uh, you you practice your chipping and try to put it in so in my opinion if you want a better performance uh, getting out there and playing nine or 18 holes the most you can that will definitely help you lower your handicap okay so that was it for the video i just wanted to share that with you i feel like uh, i needed to give some credit to the simulator the mibu plus for me it has been a big investment but i tell you i use it every single day and you can see that um, it has definitely uh, helped my game uh, especially direction knowing exactly where i'm missing it how far i'm hitting it and so definitely uh, if you're looking to buy a simulator, you know, if you have a setup like this, this is more than enough. It will work. I think overall you will improve. Uh, but most of all, what I want to say is that, you know, even if you don't have a simulator, if you can get out there and play nine holes, 18 holes, that will definitely help you. I mean, you will, you know, if you want, you know, it's not all about your handicap, obviously, but if you want to improve and get to shooting low scores, you have to get out there and play because I feel like that's better than just working on you know drills constantly drills because that's not going to help i mean it's going to help you look have a nice swing but you're not going to get that experience of um of knowing what to do course management knowing where to miss where not to miss and getting up and down i think so it's just my opinion okay guys so uh thanks for watching uh let me know in the comments if you have any questions until next time